welcome to this video on using the navigation pane in Microsoft Word. So just to confirm what type of version I am on, because there's so many different options with Microsoft, so many different account types. I'm online at the moment in Microsoft Word and I have a 365 account. So I'm in a document here and it's not a massive document, but let's just assume that it's it's quite a big document. I'm imagining we all at times work with some really big documents. We're scrolling through, we're using search and find all of the shortcuts to find what we're looking for. And it's just a bit of a painful process. So if you use the the styles settings, this navigation pane is going to really help you out. And it's actually on the left hand side there, you'll sort of see a little icon. It's got a blue sort of side on it on the left hand side. And that's going to open up my navigation pane. So you can see just let's just have a look at the document before I do. I have a header there, I have some text, and I have a header, but it's a smaller header so it's almost like a subheader for me and my document so it's not a massive one but you'll be able to see how the navigation pane works so I'm just going to press it and it will open up and now I can see if I had a really big document I would be able to go and navigate to any part of my document just by clicking on that and you can see it even has the ability to copy a link to that heading as well. So you can almost share with someone else and say, point them to the right place, which is quite a really nice, useful bit of functionality as well. And if you've got a really, really, really long document, then you've got the search option there as well. Now I've only got two sections. Notice it does subheader it. So this is a, a lower header, a subheader. So it's underneath the Microsoft Teams. And if I had a heading one, then there'd be another section and it will allow me to close that as well. So I can open it and close it using that arrow, which is really, really useful. And remember, you just need to use your styles for that. And they're just up here at the top. You can see it's showing heading two. If I click on that drop down, I've got the standard set of styles. And I can also have some that maybe if I'm working on corporate templates, then there'll be specific styles set up for that. But it will still work because it's the functionality within Microsoft Word. So what you'll also notice on this navigation pane, which I find really useful, is the find and replace. Because... I'm having to use those once in a while. And depending on what keyboard I'm using, what device I'm using, it finding the F button, the function button, sometimes are a little bit painful. I do switch from a Windows to a Mac device as well, so it's just ever so confusing at times. And this is a really nice function to have it in in the same place so I'm searching and I'm finding things within my document I'm either using my headings I'm searching for that or I can even use the find option to search for something in there so let's search for teams and you can see it's searching and it's bringing me back all of that really useful data and I like the user interface here I like the look and feel of it and you can see on my document on the right hand side it's just highlighted where those words are which is really great. And I can navigate to each one of these instances really easy using that navigation pane. So super, super nice bit of functionality. You've got the up and down arrows as well, so you don't even have to scroll. You can just move through them really nicely. The other thing is the replace option. So it's already knows that I've put Teams in there because I use that to find. So if I wanted to change Teams to Excel, it would just allow me to do all of that. So you can see I've got individual replace options and I can work through my, my document one by one or I can just replace all. I'm going to do that just to see what it looks like and you can see it's just done that in there for me. Really, really nice. Really simple, really easy, really nice user interface to work with. The more simple things are, the more I love them because life's hard enough as it is. There's lots of technology out there and the more it's easier just to get to do what you need to do in one place, I am totally happy with that. I'm going to undo it because it's not Microsoft Excel. I'm definitely talking about Microsoft Teams in this, in this, um, this document that we're sharing. So if I just go back to headings, let's just do a nice little recap here of that navigation pane and just close it down. So it's going to be visible to you on the left hand side. It's disappeared for me right now. Um, but it's going to be there on the left hand side. You can sometimes bring it back if you 
make your browser bigger or close it down and reopen it just sometimes dependent on how zoomed in or zoomed out you are on the document the navigation pane might just disappear the icon there so if I just show it again you can see you've got your headings to navigate around the system and you've got your find and replace in one location so you can go ahead and navigate and amend your document in Microsoft Word Online. So one to have a go at, one to play around with if you've got that functionality on there, see how that works for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.